वेलकम यू ऑल टू नॉलेज हब विथ एच के इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम इंटरव्यू एंड वाइवा क्वेश्चन फॉर माइक्रो बायोलॉजी एंड बायोटेक्नोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू बिफोर वी बिगिन फर्दर लाइक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग वाई दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट और वाई द आंसर इज करेक्ट लाइक द जस्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द आंसर फॉर द रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट्स प्रोसीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर इज If you observe grape like a cluster and under microscope, which one of the following could be the microorganism? Okay, so uh, option here A is Escherichia coli. Option B, Staphylococcus aureus. Let me explain you. Escherichia coli, the Escherichia coli is a microorganism which is gram negative. Okay, so the gram negative microorganism and also the shape of the bacteria is in a uh, rod shape. Okay. coliform bacteria okay it's a type of bacteria that's normally live in your intestine okay so uh, in some animals it's a gut flora okay so this is the intro part for escherichia coli what is staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus aureus are gram positive okay so it's uh, these microorganisms are gram positive and are spherical round shape bacteria frequently found on the skin these are skin flora okay so the round shape the spherical shape of bacteria usually presents in a cluster cluster form that means a grape like structure okay when you observe in the microscope these staphylococcus aureus are observed in a grape like uh, cluster form okay so the option b staphylococcus aureus is a correct answer okay The next question here is which of the following isolation methods results in submerged colonies on agar plate? Okay, so option here A is streak plate. Basically, what streak plate means uh, in this technique, uh, uh, equipment name as uh, inoculum loop. Uh, inoculum loop is used, okay, to streak the microorganism. Okay, so so here. a loop full of a culture on an agar plate this is basically this is an agar plate assume it as a agar plate and on a solidified agar plate uh, with the help of inoculum loop we will be uh, streaking the microorganism okay so we will be isolate uh, uh, this method basically used to get individual cells over the agar surface do remember this term okay over the agar surface that means the solidified media is all uh, the agar here is already solidified and on top of the agar the cells you will be observing okay the second option here is pore plate pore plate uh, in this method uh, it in uh, like uh, this method involves pouring of a liquid sample okay first we will be taking a liquid sample that means a liquid culture into a petri plate before adding a agar medium okay so first we will be pouring a liquid sample and then the liquid agar medium before it solidifies okay so after the solidification what we will be observing like uh, the colonies of the bacteria grows both within and on the surface okay on the surface of the agar medium within that means it's a submerged colonies okay so within or on the surface of the agar medium okay so the answer uh, option b is a correct answer for the for this question okay moving on to the next question which type of immunoglobulin is present in human colostrum what is human colostrum sorry uh, the first secretion from the mammary gland after giving birth okay so Uh, the meaning of colostrum is the first secretion from the mammary gland after giving birth okay so uh, you can understand that nutritious okay it's rich in nutrition so example a uh, option a sorry option a is igm immunoglobulin m and option b here is immunoglobulin a what is immunoglobulin a it's a first antibody secreted by the adaptive immune system in response to foreign antigen okay so here these are secreted when antigens attack okay foreign antigen attack and ig immunoglobulin a 
plays a key role in defending okay defending mucosal surface again against the attack by infectious microorganisms so basically iga immunoglobulin a is a protect uh, protecting from the attack of infection infectious microorganism okay so the iga the immunoglobulin a option b is a correct answer for this question moving on to the next question what is covax uh, sorry covax reagent is associated with which type uh, which of the following test option a is bogus prosker test option b indole production uh, first let's understand bogus prosker okay so the bogus prosker test is performed by adding what are the reagents is uh, added here is alpha naphthol and uh, potassium hydroxide these are the two reagents are added okay to perform this covax prosker test uh, if the microorganism is positive for covax uh, uh, sorry bogus prosker then it will appear a cherry red color it will show a cherry red color okay so that uh, uh, this test is usually used to determine an organism which produces acetyl methyl carbinol okay and these acetyl methyl carbinol are produced from glucose fermentation okay so this is vogus prosker test about vogus prosker test okay so now indole production what is indole production indole test demonstrate the ability of the bacteria to decompose uh, amino acid uh, tryptophan amino acid okay tryptophan please excuse for the spelling tryptophan amino acid to indole okay so here decomposition of tryptophan to indole this test is important to uh, identify uh, enterobacteria like example like a uh, uh, e coli okay so indole uh, what happen here is indole will react with the aldehyde which is present in covax reagent the agent the reagent which will we will be using here is covax reagent okay so to give the reddish pink color okay reddish pink color so the positive uh, sample will have a reddish pink color okay so the option b indole production b option is a correct answer for this moving on to the next question which of the following method of writing scientific name is correct okay so option a is staphylococcus aureus option b is also a staphylococcus aureus but do remember these here capital s and capital s here cap small a and capital a letter okay so what happened when you name uh, any microorganism scientific name uh, the correct way of writing scientific name is uh, the genus name okay so here staphylococcus is a genus okay so and species what is a species here aureus is a species okay so basically when you name the microorganism the genus name is must be in capitalized form and the species should be in the lower case first letter should be lower case the name should be italicized or underlined in the text okay so here uh, in the option you can see in a option the genus uh, genus name is in capitalized case okay and uh, the uh, species name is also in a uh, underline uh, sorry in a lower case okay so this is correct this is correct but option b here you can see the genus name is in capitalized case but here species is in capitalized case so in this case option a is a correct okay option b is not correct so now moving on to the next question uh, uh, now it's your turn to answer okay uh, i will be tagging the correct answer i do uh, request you all to please uh, comment your correct answer in the comment box okay so the question here is uh, which of the following is not a component of blood option a red blood cells option b white blood cells c fibrinogen option d is a platelet okay 
thank you so much for your uh, for coming back to my video and uh, uh, for your likes and comments it uh, motivates me a lot so i request you all to please comment like and share okay and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much take care bye bye